In this video, we're going to look at how to use non-NSH scripts in a BMC server automation compliance policy. In many cases, customers have existing scripts that they would like to leverage within a compliance policy rather than creating their own rules from scratch using the rules editor. These are the steps that we're going to follow. First, we're going to start with an existing non-NSH script. In this example, we'll use a shell script. We're going to copy that script to the sensors directory so that we can use the script util utility to remotely execute that script. Then we'll create an extended object within the component template uh, and we'll use the script util utility to run the script. And then finally, we will create the appropriate parts and compliance rule in order to execute that script. So in step number one, we have an existing script that we want to use. In this case, it's a shell script called nameserverCheck.sh. We're going to copy that script over to the sensors directory, which is located in the uh, BladeLogic home directory, uh, share sensors. So we simply copy that over. And what we should do is give it a name that ends in the appropriate operating system that the script is for. In this case, our script is written for Linux. What we should do next is test to see that the, uh, that the script is going to work and what the output is going to be like. So I'm going to use NSH to run the script util, script util with a dash H, and then I will test that against a, uh, a host, uh, red hat www, and then dash S and the name of the script, name server check. And so we can see that the script is uh, working correctly. It remotely executes that script against uh, whatever host you specify. And this is what the result is going to look like. Result success, if it would be a fail, it would be a result fail based on whatever the, the script checks for. Uh, it's important to know what the format is going to be so that when we create the extended object, we use the correct grammar. Also, the very first uh, column uh, is going to be what's referred to as the name in the extended object entry and everything subsequent will be value 1, value 2. That'll make more sense once we uh, create the extended object. So let's go ahead and go into our BladeLogic server automation console. We're going to open an existing component template and in the component template we'll go over to local configuration objects and we're going to create a new extended object. We'll give it a name. In this case, I'll call it NS check for name server check, uh, a description if you like, and define the operating system that it'll be for. Specify the command, which we're going to use script util with the dash H, and we'll parameterize the target and then the script name server check and this is going to be central execution and then we'll define what grammar we want to use so since the uh, output is going to be the name and then space of value I simply want to use a namespace value grammar finish that creates the extended object next we're going to go over to parts and make sure that we have the appropriate parts for this uh, extended object so there is a part created for NS check. Uh, let's make sure that we can do browsing compliance for that. And then let's also create a part for an extended object entry. So an extended object entry is a value within the extended object. So the extended object is called NS check. And then the entry is going to be result, which is that first entry that we saw. Uh, Okay, and now we can go ahead and create the compliance rule. Let's make sure that we have that uh, policy saved. We'll define the rule and we'll call it uh, NS check. And within the rule definition, we can now simply browse for that part that we created for NS check result. And we want the value number one to be equal to success. 
I'll save that rule and then we'll test our policy, our rule. We'll pick a Linux server and we'll execute. And we can see that the rule ran successfully and it is compliant. So this script ran against the target server uh, and the value that we're looking for is success, which matches our criteria. And this is how you can use your existing non-NSH scripts within a compliance policy.